All right, this is uh, part two of the GT500 fuel hat 07 to 12 testing. Um, my previous video, I did all the stock voltage, standard voltage for testing 13.5. Now I'm going to do a basic voltage booster, 18 volt booster, which actually they put out around 17 and a half. So I'm going to test at 17 and a half volts and see what kind of flow and amperage pull we get at the higher voltage. So, still have the GT500 hat in there. We're going to start at 30 PSI. And we're going to dial it up to 17.5 volts. You can really hear the pumps spinning up. I'm going to try not to have this running too long at this higher voltage. Right, because in the car, the pumps normally don't see this voltage all the time. Some pretty good cu current draw there. It did get an uptick in flow. So I'm going to set you down and record the numbers. So at 30 PSI, I got 29.1 amps and 2.8. Go up to 40 PSI. And we got, it's actually going to, this is a 30 amp um, power supply that I have. It's pegging. So it'll probably handle a little more. It's got over current protection. It might shut down. We might not be able to get the full test. It's quite a bit of current. All right, and our flow is 2.6. At least we're going to get the 40 PSI number. See if it gets mad at me if I turn the pressure up higher. Again, current is pegged at 30. So I, I, I don't know what current is, but it's above 30. I'm at 2.4. 60. Yeah, I just overcurrented. So my power supply shut down. Overcurrent protection, it says. So, all right, but at least we got some numbers to work with here. Clear, all right, so 2.8 gallons per minute is 636, pretty good bump. A lot of current though. And 2.6 times 590. And then the last one we got at 50 psi or about 10 pounds of boost is what that would be. We are at 545. Liters per hour. So there's the gain. Um, if I'm looking at my standard for testing 40 psi, 590 minus 420, I picked up 170 liters per hour with the voltage booster. And then let's see what the percentage is divided by 420. 40%. <clears throat> So I picked up 40% more flow. Uh, current was pegging near 30. I, I don't know what the, let's just say 30 minus 22. I picked up at least eight amps. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, divided by 22, 36% more current. So 36% more current. Move that over so you can see it. So. There are, we're, our voltage boosted GT500 hat. <clears throat> so at 40 PSI, we picked up 170 liters per hour at the higher voltage, and which was 40%. And then we picked up at least 30% more current. My uh, power supply was maxing. So there you go. There are the voltage boosted numbers. Um, <clears throat> this goes, uh, check out my other videos if you want about heat. So 
voltage times current is heat. Uh, that's a lot. I'll, I'm not going to get into it again. Check out the other videos, like I said, if you want to see me talk about that. But because the formula for energy or, or watts is voltage times current, at a higher voltage, you're always going to have more heat. So if I do 17.5 volts times 30 amps, it's 525 watts. That's quite a bit of heat those pumps are generating. And then more if you're running more than 10 pounds of boost, right? And that's why I've said it before. Don't run plug and play bets. It's a marketing thing. I get it. Some G2500 owners like, oh, I don't want to cut my stock wiring. It's super easy to install a plug and play. The factoring, factory 12 gauge wiring uh, <coughs> is not adequate for that kind of current and heat. Um, you want shorter length direct path from like the alternator post or the battery. And you want 10, 8 gauge. Um, for my dual pump kit upgrades for the GT500, I use 8 gauge. So <coughs> you would see an improvement in current. So that's quite a bit of heat. Um, so yeah, there's always a trade-off. Granted, remember when you're voltage boosting, your fuel pump driver modules are still controlling voltage. So you only hit those spikes, right? But it's those spikes of current and heat over time that we're actually wears electronics. It's cycles. So is it doable? Will it, will it last you a long time? Sure. There's guys out there have been running BAPs for five years plus. Um, you will prematurely wear the pump out. You have to. It's drawing more heat and more cycles. It's just the way it works. So just know it's a trade-off. There are the numbers. So it's pretty cool to see. So to recap, about 420 liters per hour um, stock voltage and 590 liters per hour boosted voltage. All right, thanks.